Hi everybody, it's Peace Love Piggy 13 here, and this is a video request from somebody on my um, Facebook page called Chloe. Hi Chloe, if you're watching, and she asked me to do a video about all my guinea pig supplies. And um, so I'll start off with the food um, that I feed them. Um, I give them Pets at Home's own guinea pig nuggets. Um, this is a really big bag. Um, I'm about um, I'm almost that much um, at the bottom, so I need to go get another bag soon. Um, but these nuggets are really good because they've got special dried grass and pro feed um, to maintain a healthy digestive system. They've got balanced calcium for healthy teeth and they've got added vitamin C, um, which is really good for guinea pigs because um, uh, guinea pigs can't produce vitamin C by themselves, so that's why you need to feed them hay and... Um, veggies every day and um, this bag um, was about seven pound I think and um, I don't have the receipts anymore I'm afraid but I think it was about seven pound and um, the hay that I feed my guinea pigs again is pets at homes and um, this is just the medium hay this is suitable for rabbits guinea pigs chinchillas and dagoes and it's dust extracted and biodegradable and all that kind of stuff um, why I love this hay so much is, as you can see, it's super compressed hay, which means it expands up to eight times the volume. Um, like, if you can see, I've only used like, the top of this bag, and I've had this for about a week and a half now. I give them hay every day, as you can see, Pepper is just munching on some at the moment, being a very good demonstrator. Um, the treats that I feed my guinea pig, apart from veggies, which I might do another video about, um, I give them woodlands. Oh yes, and uh, sorry, the price of the medium hay um, again was about six pound, I think. <clears throat> um, the herbal delight that I feed my guinea pigs. This is by woodlands, and woodlands are really good because they don't add any um, additives or like colourings or anything. So it's like all natural, like they don't add anything whatsoever. And um, this is just like a mix of like different types of hay and corn and like rhubarb pieces and things like this. It's suitable for rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas and dagoes. Um, and this bag was about um, £2.70 I think. Um, the other Woodlands product that I like to buy um, is Sunshine Munch which is carrot and corn. And um, this is suitable for all pets. Um, they really like this and as you can see um, they have a little board of it at the moment but they've actually put up one of their cardboard troops in it for some reason. Um, <laughs> so yeah that bag was about £2 um, and uh, they really like that. This is what the Herbal Delight looks like outside the bag. It smells really good. Per paprika, you want to show us? You like it? No. You're not being a very good model, are you? You gonna eat it? Ooh, yummy. Mmm. Um, so yeah, like, they really enjoy that. And it smells really sweet. <coughs> so, um, I don't give it that often. Um, because to them, I think it must be quite sweet. And so, you know, it's like us, like, eating sweets all the time. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that. There, you can eat that off my knee. There you go. Oh, are you gonna push it everywhere now, silly pig? Um, yeah. So moving on to like my care things. Um, I have two different types of shampoo at the moment. I have Pets at Home Antibacterial Shampoo. Uh oh, you're trying to run away. You being the silly pig. Oh, you've kicked it all over everywhere. Come on, come sit in my lap, please. Thank you. Um. Yeah, so this is just Pets at Home's um, own antibacterial shampoo. This is suitable for... Oh, it doesn't say actually. Um, it doesn't say. Um, but it has got a guinea pig and a bunny rabbit on it. And it was made for small pets. Um, but yeah, um, I'm actually using this one at the moment mostly because this is the um, Gorgeous Guineas Just For Boars shampoo. This is just the trial size. I haven't used it yet. 
um, because they have had a wash quite recently, so you don't need to wash very well. Um, this one was um, three pound, I think, for this bottle. Um, this one was um, two pound fifty, I think, for the little trial size one. Um, and this is a little ointment. But it says perfect paws ointment, and this is for Pepper because he sometimes gets um, sore skin on on his feet. And this was um, two pound, I think. Um, yep, so they're really good. I also have Johnson's antibacterial shampoo. Eh, no, sorry, antibacterial powder, and this is just cause my boy. Oh, stop. He's he's like moving my arm, which is why the camera's going all funny. Um. Uh, yeah, so because my my guinea pigs are both boys, they do sometimes have little um, scrabbles. So I do find like little tiny scratches on them. So this is just to help it like get better quicker, which is really good. This bottle was three uh, two ninety nine. Um, I also have this. This is really cute. It's just like a little doggy. Um, and inside is like a little nail kit. You still move my arm, you silly pig. Um, and uh, this has just been like donated to the piggies basically, but I basically use this one most. This is just like your ordinary like nail clipper. Um, I rarely ever use anything. I might use the nail file if I think um, that the quick is too close um, or things like that. So just like clips up like that into a little doggy. And um, uh, I got that as a present actually. So I don't know how much that was. Sorry. Um, this is just a bristle brush. Um, it's just really soft. Um, I bought this for myself. But then in the end I never used it. So it's been donated to the pigs again. Um, I think this was £4. From um, Sainsbury's or somewhere like that. Um, I can't remember exactly. But any kind of soft bristle brush. Um, or even one from Pets at Home. Which has been specially designed for small pets. Um, we do. Um, my guinea pigs do have leads and harnesses, and I know that some people um, say that it's not good for guinea pigs, and I do listen to that. Um, but they don't go out very often on those, um, so don't worry about that. Um, I think the last time I used it would have been like last like September or something, so don't worry about that. Um, they barely ever use them anymore. Um, because my guinea pigs don't really run, so they normally just stay in the one place, so they don't really need that. Um, so yeah, that's like all my big stuff. Um, I do have these like pig loos, as you can see if I just zoom out a bit. Um, and I would have this in their cage, but they always tip them upside down like this. And that's not really good, because they need to like hide in it, which is a bit silly. Um, so I don't normally put them in. I might put it in today, actually, and see what Paprika thinks of it. Um, because it's I've been a while since he's seen um, one of those. Um, yep. So, um, the this piglu was about four pound fifty, I think. I'm trying to run away. Oh, and the harnesses were um, five pound each, or roughly. Um, if I just move along, and I'll just point you some things in the cage. Um, so, um, I have a little paper. You come to see. And um, the products that I have in my cage at the moment is just a normal cardboard tube, which I've actually eaten all the. Well, they've teared off all of the coloured paper, which was on the outside. <coughs> that tube was about two pound fifty, I think. Um, just from pits at home again. Um, they have some um, cardboard tube things from like toilet paper and kitchen roll um, that they used to chew on. Um, they have a... Oh, it's a bit mucky at the moment actually. Um, but this is just like a chew and it looks like a piece of lettuce I think. Um, and um, they just like chew on that. I actually got this in a set that I got my guinea pigs for Christmas. It was like a Christmas stocking. And the whole Christmas stocking cost me five pound, I think. Oh, oh, paprika! That was a big jump. Oh, you okay? <laughs> that silly pig. 
Um, so yeah, I got this. I also got this, which I wouldn't have bought normally. Um, but it, you know, it just came in the set, so it's just like a little wooden hanging chew thing. But they don't normally bother with it. They just sometimes, they sometimes gnaw on it. But that's about it. Oh, stop rumbling, you sick pig! They also got this like scratchy carrot thing, um, which is just made out of like um, rope, and it's perfectly safe. Oh. <laughs> He's trying to get onto the hammock. Are you being a silly pig? Please. Oh, don't do that, please. The way I tell them that they've been naughty is I click my fingers. Um, so yeah, that just goes up there. And we've also got a little teddy bear, which either pepper or paprika, I'm not sure, has like teared off the, f the brown, oops, the brown fluff. So this will definitely be going in the bin very soon. Um, this was actually a cat toy from Pets at Home, I think it was about two pound. Um, they have a hammock, um, which some people might think is a bit strange for guinea pigs, but um, my guinea pigs do like sitting on this. They feel very safe. <laughs> but Papri is just hiding in the tunnel at the moment. Um, they have a giant water bottle, um, and it does say um, non-leak. I don't know if you can see that. If I put my hand there, maybe you can read it better. I don't know. Anyway, it says non-leak, but um, it does leak. So actually, I wouldn't recommend buying this. If you see anyone like this, I wouldn't recommend buying them because... Oh, come on, be nice, please. Uh, come on, be nice. I wouldn't recommend these because they do leak, um, and so they're not very good. Um, they have a hay rack which came with the um, cage itself. Um, they have two bowls, one which is normally either filled with like hay or treat things. At the moment it's just filled with that sunshine munch and a little bit of the herbal delight. Well, be nice. Um, and they also have a bowl which is actually covered in hay but it has got nuggets in it. Maybe if I move the hay you can... Go on, move it away. Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. There's some nuggets there. Um, and um, up there they have a au natural chew. But to be honest, I've never seen them chew that. Mm, the camera. Um, I've never seen them chew that. Um, it hasn't got salt in it. I think it's just a natural chew. But they don't chew it. Um, oops, sorry, paprika. Um, they have a little log, which has some mashed up, um, yummy hay things in it, and it's just like a little log. But as you can see, they've more like ripped off the bark bits than actually eat the thing inside. Um, but they actually like that, and um, so they enjoy that. As you can see, Pepper's digging into some sunshine munch and stuff. Um, oh, if I flip down this, I, I normally have the cage top open, just to make it feel a bit more airy for them. Um, this is my favourite toy that they have, and this is just a loofah. And it's just got like um, walnut, um, like a wooden ball, and another walnut. And what I do with this is like I get like a piece of carrot, or like a sugar snap pea or something, and I just put it in beside here, um, and it just gives them like something to do. Um, and makes it a little bit more interesting rather than just taking the veg out of a bowl. Oh, you're being noisy. Hmm? Um, so yeah, I really enjoy that. Um, and I think they really enjoy it. And Paprika's trying to get onto the hammock again. You, you kind of have to come this way. I don't think you're going to be able to get on that way. Oh! <laughs> well done. Yes, it was a bit of a dramatic entrance, but you know, you got there. Um, oh, I better go now because Facebook, do, um, YouTube doesn't let me upload 15 minutes and it's 14 minutes, almost 15. So um, I'll go now. If you have any requests, just send me something. So bye.